Clip Hope Nation Uganda chapter has been growing steadily and promising. So many members have been um, brought on board musically, artistically, and those who have been uh, trying to make things happen for themselves as a way of living have been quite many and promising. We've got members, especially in Northern Uganda, Central Uganda, Western Uganda, and Eastern Uganda. Uganda is made up of five regions, but at least we've been able to reach out to four regions, slowly by slowly, using my personal salary that I earn as a journalist, reaching out to my fellow disabled artists, and even those who are not artists, such that they can discover themselves. Those who had no hope would also rediscover themselves and find something they can do for themselves, such that we can advocate as a voice. The unfortunate news that is coming up from Uganda is that the government is coming up with policies that is going to govern the entertainment industry, whether disabled or not disabled, so long as you are in the entertainment industry or art industry. The government is coming up with policies, a bill that is expected to be tabled in parliament after the executive, that's the government, has discussed about it. It's coming up at a time when a lot of things are happening in the country, especially issues to do with the political situation in our country. An artist would be required to be registered by the government. An artist, if to go outside the country to perform, would have a license that allows them to operate outside the country. An artist has to not involved in any political angle or issues concerning performing or anything to do with artists or entertainment. In case you are found to breach the bill, you would be either prosecuted, arrested, or fined. But in most cases, finding you is something minimal, but prosecution and convicted. So it has somehow discouraged the upcoming disabled artists in the country. And those who are looking at art and entertainment as their way of survival. But because that's the only way that our, some of our colleagues who are not employed could survive. I'm a bit getting worried that um, my coming to be part of the African Music Festival in California is in balance. Because if this bill comes up and it's put into law, it will be very difficult for some of us to travel out of our countries to get engaged in activities with our colleagues who make up Clip Hop Nation worldwide. We only ask for your prayers such that this kind of policies, bills could not come into place or either our group of, I would say, persons who fall in the category of disabled are uh, given a special treatment out of this bill. Otherwise, if it's generalized, it's going to disappoint many, discourage many, because most of our colleagues cannot afford to pay for, to pay for licenses, to pay for issues to do with uh, getting licensed such that they operate fully. Because in most cases, what we do is promotional. 
most of us never get profits out of it, but we use it as an advocacy form where we can voice our issues that we go through in a day-to-day -day world. What would we need institutions, especially the government, do for us? Like say, is the access to buildings, is the access to hospitals, is the access to schools, um, fighting discrimination, especially in schools, uh, trying to do such kind of things. So it's going to put us at the stake in the way that we will not be able to afford paying for such fees for the license. But as Uganda Clip Hop Nation, Uganda chapter, we've been on the ground, we've done quite a number of activities that we have helped our colleagues, not only disabled, but even non-disabled, who are vulnerable. Say we, did, we got engaged in uh, car washing, where we raised money to take, to take um, a young child of around uh, two years to India for a surgery, uh, mobilizing uh, wheelchairs for our colleagues who cannot easily travel or walk. Um, we've engaged ourselves in uh, fundraising for physiotherapy for some of our colleagues such that they are also able to do something for themselves. Um, at some of the interesting stories is that uh, recently uh, we would have engaged ourselves in uh, a sports tournament. Unfortunately, we lacked a few things in place. Like say, for some of our colleagues, would not easily transport themselves because of funds, because of mobility, most especially, and maintenance. So we had to go out of this tournament. We hope uh, with assistance from our colleagues, um, out of Uganda, or oh, well wishers would come on board and uh, we do something better for the disabled community in Uganda at large. Thank you so much.